Oh, uh, what is going on, guys? It is Mask Man here, and welcome to Life is Strange, Episode 5. Finally, I've gotten around to playing the end of this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot as long as you guys are still interested. You totally are. Let's hit continue and see where this takes us. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look out. What the fuck? Yep, time for this to get interesting. Oh, my voice cracked. Oh, wow. All right. Well then, yeah, thanks for that warning about, uh, choose wisely. I, uh, have a feeling this is gonna be an interesting episode. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well then, the black screen is nice. Eerie, jeering music. Oh, we're fading in. All right, I'll be quiet then. Shh. Grab some popcorn like a king star. Oh, we're now the target. Oh, that's... Lovely. That's lovely. That's how it would seem, at least, is that we are the target. Oh yeah, it's gotta be us. Square Enix. I really do. I, I've heard a lot of people give mixed opinions about this game. Some think it was good, some think it was bad. I personally am on the side of it being good. But that's just me. You know, I know the characters can be a little bit redonkulous at times with their writing. That was kind of on purpose for me saying redonkulous because of how they talk, but I enjoy it, because I know for a fact, having not been in school too long ago, that people do still talk like that. Don't nod entertainment. Well, this is going to be... It's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun day. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be so fun. No, it's not. Oh, boy. Life is Strange. Episode 5. Polarized. Hey, Max, old friend. How are you doing? We're not doing too good, huh? No. Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Am I mo oh, I'm, I'm moving. Oh, cool. Hello, camera. Chloe? Uh, what? Chloe's, uh... Where? <laughs> the dark room. Is there someone in that corner? No. Wait, is there? No. I don't, I don't like is this. Anybody Probably shouldn't speak up, but... Uh, let's see if there's God, a syringe there. I don't remember anything that happened. It's oh, probably shit. for the best. That's me. He took that shot last night. Oh boy, there's a lot of things that I'm not gonna like here, huh? I can detach my hand. H how 
exactly when I detach my hand. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that's some. Uh... Finally, I'm free. Almost. That's some. Uh, that's some uh, weak ass. Weak ass duct tape there. I thought there was something else they wanted me to get. I mean, my leg's not going to do much. So, do I just need to look over of there? Of course. And right in front of me. I guess that's my phone. Yeah. I can pull... Oh, pull it with your foot. That's a clever idea. Still not sure what that's going to do when I... God. Can I grab it? I don't remember anything that happened. Nope. Okay. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Hey, focus. What I'm focusing on. Focus on the photo. I promised focus. I would never go back in time like this again. Oh, we're doing this. But this is the only way. Right, how do I do that? Use left and right to focus. All right, so that's that. Oh, that's great. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, Max. This is gonna go wonderfully. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Jefferson, you got fucking creepy, man. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Good God. So you're fucked up in the head. Cool. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. Well then. But I love the purity of your own image. Well then. Like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Okay, you, uh... You, uh... Okay, I'm gonna move my microphone a little bit. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. The fuck is going on? It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Fuck! Maybe a few more close-ups. Fuck! Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Okay, now the shit, 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 bird, fuck biscuit. I did not go in a picture for this. Now don't move, or this will hurt. Much. Stupid bitch! 
You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Well. Oh, and, and, and am I out again? Or maybe that was just her way of remembering what was happening. That could have been it. But then wouldn't I forget again since I just took a shot? Or did me kicking that table actually change things a little bit? Uh -oh. oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Oh. Okay. Camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Yeah, folder. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Cool. Oh, what am I doing? What's over there? Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Okay, so we did change the past. Just a tiny bit. Um... Okay, I'm not sure what I'm looking for again, but I'll, uh... Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Ha! Ah, back in time we go again. This might work. Please work. I will do my best. Right there. And right... There. Wow. There we go. Perfect. Butterfly. It's so fitting for this game. Oh, hello. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days go to hell you will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You Fuck will not you. get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Wow. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. 
Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? Jesus Christ! I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway. I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Ooh, I have to change speech things. Rewind, 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 rewind. So be there? Maybe? Or did I not go back far enough? Okay. All right. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Dick. Oh, did I not make the right choice? It wants me to skip. Well, I guess it's time to look around again. Look. Oh, he gave me a thing to go back in time. Perfect. You dumb little douchebag. Thank you. Let's go.